discovering spirituality and even your gifts. And then you start to grow into adulthood more. Maybe you get into relationships, you have new friendships. How do you carry that into other relationships too? Reiki, I was always told it wasn't real and spirituality wasn't real and God wasn't real. And uh, after going through all that really hard stuff where it feels like almost like an emotional invasion of like, you know how real spirituality is. Mm -hmm. You know how real your loved ones and guardian angels are. So I think what it is knowing that everybody's at a different place. And when you're out of that relationship, it's so much easier to say that. But yeah, even friendships, like I know when you and I first met, I was like, yeah, like I love angels. They're like, you know, we'd say things like, oh, we're manifesting it. And we talk about (laughs) Reiki every day and dream so, so big. But we have so many people in our community, in our friendship group who say like, what are you guys doing again? Like, is that real? (laughs) So it's so much about trusting yourself and the gifts Mm -hmm. that you have and your Mm -hmm. loved ones really leaning on that support system who you know who loves you. As I grew spiritually, I listened to my inner voice. I listened to my intuition and slowly and slowly I learned and learned and I learned who I could talk to, who I didn't talk to about it. You know, I really went with my gut feelings on this person feels safe to open up to this person doesn't. Mm -hmm. And so over time, I started just becoming 100% authentically me, spirituality and all, like I never hit it. And, you know, some people disagree and some people don't. But most of the time, if you come from a loving place, I think a lot of people are open to it especially now I feel like so many more people are opening up to like (laughs) manifesting you know and so many amazing things thank god yeah 